Hey guys, it's Ryan from JRox.com, and I'm here to to go through the short tutorial on setting up uh, the actual affiliate groups in JRox e-commerce manager. So first off, um, you should have watched the video on setting up the configuration options for the affiliate marketing. If not, you can click on the link for that. In this video, we'll be talking about setting up affiliate groups for gem so we go to marketing our members manage affiliate groups and down here by default gem creates a, a a default affiliate program group so what happens here is uh, whoever signs up to your affiliate program in gem are automatically placed in this affiliate group now you know if you if you you know just want to pay a regular you know 10 percent commission on all your affiliates and you don't need them to be in different you know affiliate groups or different um, criteria for for you know generating commissions you really don't have to do anything else all you have to do is click on this option and you know enter the amounts that you'd like to pay on a per level basis so if you you know you want to pay 10 percent commission on on one level just enter point one zero here or if you want to play you know five dollars uh, per level you would just set this to the flat commission type so for this example we'll just do ten percent on level one and five percent level two and two percent on level level three and we'll just put in some default values for the rest of the levels here one percent close now anyone who uh, refers a customer to your to your program to your um, and to your site and purchases something you know according to that setting they would have gotten paid you know as a direct referral a 10% commission for that particular uh, for that particular sale now you know if you're looking to have different users to have you know to have different commission amounts this is where you would add different groups uh, so let's say for example you know you'd like to have uh, as in here a premium affiliate group and a default affiliate group you can set different different members to have different commission amounts so in this example if a person is a member of the premium affiliate group and they would get paid that particular amount instead of you know, the default affiliate groups amount so in this case we have it set to 20% level 1, 5% level 2, 1% level 3 and so on so if a member is a part of that affiliate group that's the commission amount that he would that he would get when he refers a, a customer to your site now if you would like to to find out or how if you'd like to set different members manually to certain groups all you would have to do is first go to to their member detail members detail details page and then click on the affiliate or the groups tab and here you can set the uh, affiliate group membership for that user so whichever affiliate group you want them to be you would set it right here now let's go back to the affiliate group section now another another thing that uh, you you may want to do is to use affiliate groups as as tiers affiliate tiers which is also commonly called where you know if you'd like to to give users the ability to get bonuses by by you know setting up a number um, a performance bonus amount or criteria to where they can reach if they reach that level they can be promoted to the next affiliate you know next affiliate group or tier in your in your affiliate program so you know from the last video you would set you would end up you would actually set up uh, your performance bonus criteria and settings global configuration marketing performance bonuses and you would set it all up here and what would happen here you would you would set the performance bonus type to group upgrade um, in this setting 
in this example setting, if a user reaches a thousand dollars in commissions, they would be upgraded to the next tier in the group. So what happens now is if you have a user who is currently in the default affiliate program group and uh, they refer up to a thousand dollars in commissions to your site and you have performance you know performance bonuses enabled what would happen is once they reach a thousand dollars in commissions they would automatically be placed in the premium affiliate group for a higher commission amount so before you do all those things you have to make sure that you have set the tier uh, levels here so let's click to update so now you have on tier one is the default affiliate program in this setting it would be 10 percent for the direct referrals and for the premium affiliate group if they get you know upgraded to that group you would be in the second tier and you can add as many affiliate groups as you want uh, so you know if you want to have 10 different you know tiers that members can you know can aspire to get to um, you can add that as you can add as many groups as you want in gym um, another thing that I, I wanted to talk about is uh, setting the custom commissions per product let's select a product here so essentially what a, what custom commissions per product is is you know if you if you're looking to pay a different commission amount for each of the products that you sell so for example here you know if you want to sell if you want to pay 10 percent or on this polo shirt but you only want to pay eight percent for you know pair of shoes that you sell you can set that type of options here in gem so to do that you would first go to options make sure you have enabled custom commissions that's that option should be enabled um, uh, by the way if you wanted to disable commissions for this product so you know if if you don't want to pay a commission for this product that's where you, this is where you would also set it to yes so make sure that if somebody buys this product and you're not you don't want to pay a commission on it you can set this option but uh, let's go back to the enable custom commissions and make sure that's set to enable and you would click on group pricing custom commissions per affiliate group now here is where you would set the amount that you want to pay for for an affiliate so in, in this example let's say you know the default affiliate program if you notice on well, the last uh, few moments ago th those guys the, p the people who are members of this default program would make 10 percent on on direct referrals and so on but you know if I don't want to pay 10 percent for this product I only want to pay let's say 8 percent I would enter that amount here so let's say you know 0. I would say 0 0.08 and then you know all the way down to what I want to pay if you you know all the way down to the level amount that I want to pay for this product you know if you want to just set different commission levels for cert I mean different commission amounts for specific levels you can leave the other levels blank so let's say four or five six seven and all these are blank it will gem will just use the default value set in the in the affiliate groups instead of uh, you know instead of giving them a uh, instead of not giving a commission so if you leave these blank it will just set up a uh, it will just gem will just use the default commission amounts set for the for the actual affiliate group as based in the affiliate groups area so if you want to go back there and look at it uh, notice here we put in eight percent four percent you know and then so on for that polo shirt and that's what we would be paying on the level one and level two and then now that we left the other the other fields blank now these these values are is what will be used when the commission is generated all the way up to the eight levels that we set from from previously so but that is basically it for setting the affiliate groups and tiers for gem um, tune in for another video uh, from from us and we'll, from the next video we'll be looking to set up the actual marketing tools for the affiliate marketing program.